everyone, today I'm going to be reacting to Niall Horan's new album called The Show, and let's get into it. The first song is Heaven. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on the song, really nice hearing it in full for the first time. I had heard like a little snippet of it on TikTok and I wanted to save it for whenever I heard the full thing. That's normally what I do when I know I'm gonna be reacting to stuff. And so I really enjoyed this thing. I will say that I wish that his vocals were more forward in the mix. I kind of feel like the production is drowning him out throughout the song. I'm sure that they did this intentionally. You know, the song is called Heaven. They want it to be like angelic, heavenly effect with the vocals, I understand. But I really wish his vocal would have been brought forward in the mix. I could appreciate the lyrical sentiment. I liked his vocals on it. I liked the writing and I think that it was a good song to start off the album. Something that also really stuck out to me about the song is the chord progressions. It reminds me a lot of Grape Juice by Harry Styles which was one of my favorite songs off of the album Harry's House. I have a lot of videos on here if you want to see them all in the cards right here. It'll be at the end of this video linked down below in the description. And it's interesting whenever songs remind you of each other so I thought that that was cool about it. About the song on Genius Success, one thing I've learned over the years is that society loves to pressure us into reaching certain milestones by a certain age. What that's getting married or anything else that really should be based on our own instincts. As I've gotten older, I've tried to let go of these expectations and just follow my heart. The chorus of the song is saying that what I have in my life currently is amazing. So it'd be crazy to ruin that by giving into outside pressures. Now on to track two, If You Leave Me. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I like it. I can appreciate how light that it is. I don't think that the, I believe it's like vocal processing put on his voice, like whenever it hits the chorus or autotune or melody or whatever it is. I don't think that that was necessary. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Again, I kind of feel like his vocals are getting overshadowed by the production. And so I can appreciate this for what it is, I will say though, but those are my little notes on it. Now onto track three, Meltdown. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on this song, a really great track overall. I really enjoyed the tempo of the song. I thought it fit perfectly. I appreciate how on this track, his vocals are brought more to the forefront of the mix. I think it's catchy. I like the songwriting on here. And I know that this was a single, so I think that it was a good choice for a single overall. Okay, so as I was listening to this song, I was thinking this. I didn't bring it up because I already mentioned Harry earlier in this video and I didn't want to like do it multiple times and like maybe have it overshadowed. But this song I feel is very similar to As It Was, just in 
terms of like the tempo and like parts of the production as well like i kept thinking like this is like kind of like niles as it was and everything just based off of that and so it's just something like really interesting to think about i think as it was is a great song very much overplayed and everything i really liked it for what it was but yeah this is just something i had to throw in because the thought came back to me as i was editing this video and everything so let me know what you guys think i'm sure other people have thought this as well about the song on genius it says it's about those moments where it feels like the whole world is against you when you're feeling anxious and being in that kind of freaking out moment but knowing deep down that everything will be all right when i felt like that myself i know that all of you out there have felt the same way at some point too i wanted to put this out there as a reminder that you're never alone going through it i wanted the verse later to capture the frantic moments when you feel like so much is going wrong and there's no rationale for what's happening i really love how the tempo of the song and the groove intensifies that feeling of spiraling out of control and adds even more urgency to the panic and irrational thinking and of course there's a major shift in the mood as there is some calm brought to the chaos it gives a feeling of everything will be all right now on to track four never grow up Okay, so my thoughts on this song, really nice track overall, really wonderful vocals on here, which I can appreciate. I appreciate the sentiment, which is that even whenever we grow older, I hope that we still have like that fun, youthful spirit about us, that we don't completely hate each other and everything. So this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite songs on the album for sure. I don't think that this has been released as a single yet. I hope that it is. I think that this is good single material, you know, throw out a nice little radio edit. I think people would eat this up. I think that this is just really refreshing to listen to with the other songs as well. It's a little bit slower but it's something that's still intriguing to listen to so I really love this one and now on to track five the show life is like a board game some other time I could been through all the broken sky better hurry cause time flies everything was easy nothing ever how to fix your tears how to fake a show Okay, so my thoughts on the song overall, good track. The production was really interesting to listen to. I really like how it progressed and I could appreciate, I believe that was like the bridge. I thought that that was something that was cool to listen to and like the vocal moments and the production there. It definitely get very grandiose at some points. I think it was a good way to follow off of the last track. So I like it for what it is. Now onto track six, you could start a cult. Darling, I'll give up everything. You can have it all. You could start a cult. Baby, you could start a cult, a 
Okay, so my thoughts on this one. Decent record overall. I love that it is another acoustic moment. His vocals were beautiful to listen to. I could appreciate the sentiment of it and everything. I like the way that it progressed. It's gonna be another one of my favorites off the album for sure. Now onto track seven, Save My Life. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts on this one, I liked it a lot. Something that pleasantly surprised me in terms of the production, it was something that was like really intricate, really cool to listen to, so many things happening on there. I really like the guitars and everything. It was kind of giving me like 80s, 90s, you know, kind of rock music in there. I thought the production on here was cool. I like how his vocals floated over everything. I don't think for the chorus it needed to be that effect put on his vocals, whatever that was. It doesn't bother me a whole lot, but it's just something I don't really think was necessary. I wonder what it would have sounded like if they would have just kept it as is. I had fun listening to it. I can appreciate the lyrics on here as well. Now onto track eight on a night like tonight. Okay, so my thoughts on this track, my favorite song off the album easily. I love songs like this and the production on his vocals actually suits what he's going for. It makes sense with everything. Everything flushes together nicely, which I really, really appreciate. The production on here is very magical. I love the lyrics. I love his vocal delivery. I like the sentiment. Just an amazing song. I really like when songs can kind of like paint a picture like that, like Underneath the Stars, Mariah Carey, my favorite artist of all time, if you guys are just now seeing my videos love her so much yeah this was just a really cool piece on the album definitely a standout i would like this as a single i would we'll have to see what happens in there but wow that is something that again pleasantly surprised me in the best way really really adore this one so as i was listening to this song again it really reminded me of paul mccartney and also his band wings and paul mccartney is another one of my favorite artists of all time love his music so so much and this song to me definitely sounds like it could fit in on one of the albums that that they did and it is called Venus and Mars you know they have the title track and just like some of the other stuff that Paul McCartney has made like especially off of the Ram album and stuff like Backseat of My Car and stuff like feels very reminiscent of this song to me so again it's really interesting when things like remind you of each other. Now on to track 9, Science. And you feel what's beneath is the
Okay, so my thoughts on the song seems like it's the ballad of the album giving me a little put a little love on me vibes, which is probably my favorite song by Niall. I think it's a gorgeous ballad and I tend to prefer that song to this one. And the lyrical sentiments on here be cliche. Sure, I enjoy it for what it is. I will say it's nice to have a song like this and getting to hear his vocals again more at the forefront. Hear him showing off a little bit more in terms of that. So I like it. Now onto the 10th and final track, Must Be Love. Okay, so my thoughts on this song, it's cute. I can appreciate it. I will say I feel like the chorus needed a workshopping. It's giving me by Taylor Swift. And so that's one note there. I don't think that this was strong enough to be a closer. Honestly, I feel like he should have done the one I was talking about that I really love my favorite song on the album. I think that's what he should have done as the closer. I feel like that would be stronger as a closer. And yeah, it kind of just feels, I guess childish is the best way to put it. Like I said, the chorus really needed workshopping. That's my opinion. Like I said, it's cute. It may grow on me. We'll see what happens, but those are my honest thoughts. And now onto my favorite songs in the album based off my first listen. I'm gonna say Heaven, I really remember liking Never Grow Up. You could start a cult and then I'm going to do On A Night Like Tonight. And so these are just the ones that really stood out to me. Of course, as I listen to the album more, my thoughts can change. And now on to my overall thoughts on this album. This was really enjoyable for me to listen to. I think that it's gonna be something nice for the summertime, only 10 songs. It's like less than 40 minutes, I believe. So it's not gonna take up too much of your time, but this was pleasant for me. I I would recommend it. I think that there can be moments where his vocals are overshadowed by the production. I wish that his vocals would have been brought more forefront into the mix. Sometimes lyrics can be cliche and the songwriting on this album could have been a little bit better. Sure, it's good for what it is for the most part. A moment or two that's like not my favorite, but overall the songwriting on this album is good. I generally really like the production, I will say. I'm really ready to sit with this one and see how it ages with me and see which songs like end up rising for me are my favorites, which songs fall. And it's just interesting to see how I grow with albums as well. So maybe I'll talk about it in like an upcoming video we will see what happens in that if i talk about it in anything it'll probably be like the end of the year my favorite albums of the year something like that because i really do like this album i like the album cover i can appreciate what he was going for and me taking time to sit with it will be good because i need to think about how i'm going to rank it in his discography see how it compares to everything else but it's something good to listen to so i'm glad i got to sit down and listen to everything and it was really nice not listening to the singles beforehand because everything is really fresh for me right now and the singles have been overplayed and that's going to be my overall thoughts on the album let me know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments what are your favorite songs anything else about the album that you think is important to know let me know down below i'm excited to watch his interview on apple music those are really interesting so that'll be cool i'll definitely leave it down below in the description if you guys are interested but yes please 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 let me know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments about this album and if you guys wanted to see another video on nile i did do a video it's a revisit with me and that's basically where i just re-listen to an entire album that i've already heard before sometimes there's like a long gap between the last time i heard it i get my thoughts every single song my favorite songs overall thoughts things like that it's just something really fun to do and so i did that for his last album heartbreak weather and that will have already been in the cards it'll be at the end of this video and link down below in the description but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy give it a like down below it helps me out a lot in the youtube algorithm i very much appreciate it you can subscribe right down below if you want to see more videos like this if you the bell you get a notification to your phone when i post so you're not missing brand new videos come out the first link down below in the description is going to be my second channel i just posted a brand new video in there also this is a kill bill music video and much more so definitely go check me out over there it's something that's been long overdue but i finally edited and put it out so definitely check that out also going to have my twitter instagram spotify and tiktok if you guys like to follow me on those as well as the link to stream this album and last thing to educate guys on playing situations thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next